Hey y'all, it's your good sis Erica Bain back again with another sisters video and as you can tell by the title, this video we are talking about Sabrina and should she be worried about this sexual harassment lawsuit from Jacoby. Let's get into it. Y'all let me go ahead and cut to the chase. Yes, absolutely yes. Sis, you set yourself up. Something wasn't right about dude from the beginning. Why did you go there? Yes, he fine. He got body, arty, arty. But no, those be the crazy ones you're supposed to avoid at all costs. What were you thinking? I know what you were thinking. You were running from the real man that you wanted to be with Calvin because you couldn't get past stereotypical thoughts, a toxic mindset, problematic behaviors, and societal pressures. Sabrina, where's your therapist, sis? Because at this point, I want to send an invoice. Honestly, y'all, I do think that Sabrina should be worried anytime that you have accusations, especially now, child, especially in the climate that we're in. If you have accusations of sexual assault, sexual harassment is taken very, very seriously. And in particular, it's going to be taken very seriously because he was a subordinate. So not only did she sleep with someone that she worked with, but she slept with someone who worked under her. And that is always a no-go, which is why we see in the preview for episode seven, Maurice telling her like, you slept with a subordinate, you should never do that. Because that's literally setting you up for failure. Whether it's consensual or not, they can always hold that over you or they can always bring that up and one, compromise your job, but then also get you into legal troubles if you cannot prove that it was actually consensual. Now, the one thing I do think that Sabrina has going for her is that she has a witness by way of Calvin. And then she also has the actions that Jacoby took by way of knocking Calvin out in the bank to also back it up. So not only did Calvin witness the night that they actually had sex because he showed up and he saw him, you know, in the dang old refrigerator, butt naked and got in his feelings. But then also this carried over to when Calvin came to see about his money and then Jacoby got in his feelings and then swung on him. So there is definitely like muddy waters that they can definitely navigate. The problem is Sabrina is going to need to go to Calvin to ask him to testify or speak up. And I don't know if Calvin going to do it. Calvin is too busy thotting and trotting now. His, his bruised ego. He's now hoeing around because he's hurt. He definitely still wants Sabrina. But after being knocked out by Jacoby, having all his money taken, but now it's returned. And all the other things that he's gone through, I believe that he's starting to spiral a little bit. And if Sabrina comes calling right now, I don't think he's going to answer. Just off the strength of his male ego. And it's very unfortunate. So to answer the question that I posed at the beginning, again, yes, I think that Sabrina should be worried about Jacoby and this potential lawsuit. She needs to call up Calvin and ask Calvin to come to her rescue because that's the only way I see her actually getting out of this and keeping her job. But now it's your turn. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? Do you think that Sabrina should be worried about Jacoby? Do you think that she's going to be able to prove that they had sex and he pursued her and it was consensual? Do you think Calvin is going to help her out? Tell me all that and more in the comment section down below. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the tribe. I am breaking down sisters every time we have a new episode. So each week we're doing episode breakdowns. And then I'm also doing breakout videos like this to have further conversations on what is actually happening with specific characters in the show. If you're obsessed with sisters, I think that you're really going to love it here because I'm having a ton of conversations around it and I would love to continue the conversation with you. If you missed any of my sisters coverage, I have my sisters playlist link for you right here so that you can binge watch all of those videos. And if you're looking for something else to watch that's right in line with sisters, but maybe a little bit more edgy and a little bit more sass, then check out one of these two videos I have on screen for you too. I'm your girl Erica Vane and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.